Let's be honest. Unless you are a genetic freak or a cyborg created in the labs of Dolce & Gabbana, dropping a couple dress sizes in a month is going to hurt. Now, traditionally, that pain comes at the gym or on a liposuction table or under a whalebone corset. But now there is a new way to wince your way into a size four. Tongue surgery that uses pain to erase all joy of eating. It's called the tongue patch diet. And if you think I'm making it up just to scare you, here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. Meet Marlene Beltran and Lysander Lanuza. They are two women about to start one of the most extreme weight loss methods yet, the tongue patch diet. Plastic mesh meant for hernia repair is sewn onto the tongue, making eating solid food painful, if not impossible. This is our patch. And there it is, and we put it right on the interior portion of her tongue. It's a kind of aversion therapy pioneered in the U.S. by cosmetic surgeon Dr. Nicholas Chagay. He introduced the procedure four years ago after first seeing it done in Latin America. It doesn't fit me anymore. Lysander Lanuza, 27 years old and married. I'm a sucker for fried tacos. And 20-year-old Marlene Beltran, each hope to drop 20 pounds in 30 days. You heard that right. 20 pounds in one month, and they're ready to take desperate and extreme measures to make it happen fast. In a month's time, I'll be going to Hawaii, I'll be wearing this bikini, and I'll hopefully I'll be looking great. When it comes to food, Lysander can't help herself. I love eating everything, American food, Filipino food, Korean. And neither can Marlene. I get like cravings. I have a sweet tooth. Like in the middle of the night, I'll just be like, Oh, I want a brownie or I want ice cream. She wants to look like she did back when she was 16. And with that new rock hard body, she's hoping to catch a man. This time I'm just really motivated because I am almost 21 and I do have plans. So and I want to look my best and feel good. And anxious to turn her tongue into a tormenting deterrent to dinner. Yeah. What does it feel like that is preventing you from wanting to eat? As you're swallowing, if you would say, a cheeseburger or something, that uh, tongue is pushing things up across the roof of the mouth and back into the throat. And so while it's doing that, it's going to basically be uncomfortable if you have that on top of these sutures, which are basically fishing line, essentially. And so now you have those two little sharp points. All right, our first stitch is already in. Lysander is his 81st patient as he pioneers the process here in what arguably is the plastic surgery capital of the country, Southern California. You're sewing a foreign object into somebody's mouth. Is that healthy? Well, it's not unhealthy. We have not encountered any risk. We have not seen any infection. We have not seen any, any patients swallowing the patch. The surgery is all finished. Wow. I can't find my tongue. <laughs> She'll be able to speak normally in a few hours when the anesthetic wears off. But all that greasy fried food she loves, forget it. It's a strict 800 calorie per day liquid diet of juice, broth, and shakes until the patch is removed in a month. How much weight are you guaranteed to lose with a tongue patch? I cannot say that you're guaranteed, but an average weight loss is anywhere from 18 to 20 pounds. Lysander's new motivation, fear. Because right now I'm actually terrified of eating solid food, just thinking about having that much pain. Finally, it's Marlene's turn. On the morning of her tongue patch appointment, Marlene is more concerned about organizing all the clothes she hopes to soon be able to wear. These are all jeans. Like these are still brand new. They have the tags on. Yesterday was, the, was when it finally hit me like, I'm not gonna eat for weeks. You ready? Uh -huh. All right, stick your tongue out for us. Good, perfect. After only 10 minutes, the patch is in place. Marlene's patch was free because we are filming, but most patients, including Lysander, pay $2,000 for the patch. Good girl, all done. What's it feel like? <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> it, it was quick. You don't feel it. You don't feel it. But how will living with the tongue patch be? We followed 30 days on America's most extreme diet. Does it hurt? No. For Lysander, day one brings an immediate challenge in the home she shares with her husband and mother. This is what my mom cooks for breakfast, which I obviously can't eat. 
she cheerfully begins the requisite 45 minute daily exercise routine. I'm on 15 minutes right now, so. Three days and the patch is already paying dividends. I'm actually not hungry and actually didn't have appetite to eat anyway. So far, so good. But across town, Marlene has a craving for just about everything. I'm just really grouchy right now because it's dinner time and everyone's in the kitchen eating while I'm stuck in my room and I want a burger. Somehow Marlene resists her cravings. Lysander, not so much. But her cravings come at a price. Well, I tried like a piece of popcorn. We were at the movie theater and it hurts, so I'm like, forget it. The popcorn hurt. Yeah. And are you thinking, yes, it's working. I don't want to eat. <laughs> no, I'm like, Christ, it does work. I can't eat. <laughs> it may work, but is the tongue patch surgery a good idea? Have you ever received any flack from colleagues in the medical community for this? No, I haven't. Dr. Shigay, meet Dr. Rob Heizenga. I think it's a barbaric procedure. Better known as Dr. H. He specializes in long-term weight loss, spending 14 seasons as an expert on the biggest loser. This is so primitive an approach. You could hire somebody to hold a gun next to your head and threaten to shoot you every time you eat. The idea that you put this patch in and every time you even take one morsel of solid food, you get this stabbing pain. Who the heck knows what the long-term consequences of that are? Dr. Heizenga points to studies that show how most extreme dieters who lose weight rapidly eventually gain it all back and more. There's not one scintilla of hope or evidence that putting a patch on your tongue and not being able to eat for a month is going to have any effect on you at one year or two years or three years. Dr. Shigay's son and partner, Dr. Paul Shigay, did submit a study that claims 70% of their patients lost an average of 16 pounds and kept it off for eight months. But the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery won't publish it without more data. No matter, Marlene is getting all the data she needs from her bathroom scales as the pounds fall away. My double chin isn't as bad as it used to be. My arms are a lot thinner. Lysander is also watching the pounds melt away. So far, probably lost 15, 16 pounds. And the men in their lives are taking notice. I'm getting a lot more attention from guys, which is nice. I'm like, it's attention I'm not used to, so I'm kind of still kind of adjusting to it. One more. Ah, isn't that great? Finally, Liberation Day comes for Lysander. Now you can stick your tongue out. Okay, there it is. It's time to remove the patch and find out how much weight she's dropped. Lysander loses 23 pounds. And that bikini she wouldn't dare try on before? Aloha, Lysander. The final tally? Marlene loses 18 pounds. Remember those skinny jeans she couldn't wear before? They finally fit. What do you see when you look in the mirror now? I see myself better, I guess. And really, my husband is the most happiest person <laughs> than me, actually. He's like over the moon about my weight loss. Right. To Marlene and Lysander, the pain was worth the payoff. Whether they will be able to keep the weight off remains to be seen, but so far, so good. I'm excited now to see like how things turn out. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Long Beach, California.